Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and today I've got a video, sort of about FIFA 15, I guess. It's sort of my opinions of what I should do on career modes, and yeah, that's what I will go through today for you. And I'll probably just have some FIFA 15 screenshots, I'll just find them and yeah, I'll put them on this video. But yeah, it's more so what I'm going to talk about. And what that is about is the style of career mode videos. With career mode, there's basically two styles. It's either live or a post commentary. And over my time on YouTube, I've done both. Uh, I guess over the period of time, I've done more of the post commentary um, over the edited footage. And I recently started doing it live, which is... I find that enjoyable for mine. Uh, it's really good. Uh, and yeah, for both sides, uh, there is plus and minuses. So I guess, uh, yeah, I don't really know. That's why I need my subscribers, people who have actually hit that sub button for career mode videos. I know there's a lot for Football Manager, but yeah, if you subscribe for something else, but you still like career mode videos, uh, yeah, leave your thoughts because that's going to be a big thing on my channel, along with a big road to glory in Ultimate Team for my FIFA videos. Ideally, I'm going to do two big series. One big road to glory, just a general, start with low-rated players and build up. Uh, no buying coins, no buying Microsoft points or FIFA points now. And yeah, just all that stuff, Not, none of that. Just a general road to glory, old school one. And I feel they might make a comeback uh, to being a bit more popular with yeah people not allowed to buy coins. So yeah, I, I like the idea of that. But anyway, going back to that, yeah, I'm going to be doing that and a career mode. Hopefully, this is my plan. This was actually my plan last year. Uh, with Barcelona, but it didn't really go to plan, and yeah, I moved on from that, but yeah, don't worry about that now, that's in the past. Uh, what I will be doing is starting with Manchester United, and you can see their most recent defeats against MK Dons, uh, so yeah, they seem to be going backwards, and that was 4-0. I know, yeah, there was some youth players playing, but still, uh, for a team like Manchester United, uh, that is an embarrassing result, if I'm honest, and their recent Premier League results as well, so it's a perfect time to take them over. And yeah, what I mean is play 15 seasons, play the whole career mode, uh, which I'm not sure uh, if anyone has ever done that on YouTube, but I really want to do that. Then you can actually technically finish a series. And yeah, if anyone has ever done that, yeah, drop in the comments. I'd love to see that series if anyone has done it, but uh, yeah, I'd love to watch that actually. But anyway, yeah, that's really the plan. And I might not even be, well, honestly, I don't like changing teams in the same career. That's just me personally. Maybe if I start with a lower team and build up, but honestly, I always like to sign with young players. And yeah, I wouldn't want to leave and another manager has a success with the players I signed. So yeah, that's yeah the reason. I, I, I love signing young players and show their development because that will be, again, on YouTube like... I like to show tips and stuff. That's why I started. Just yeah, to show my thoughts on a game and that kind of stuff. Like I never took YouTube too seriously, uh, if I'm honest, in terms of being so in depth. Like I just wanted to do what I wanted to show. I didn't really care what anyone else did. Uh, that's why when people say, S "Look at someone else, they do this or they do that," to me, like it, that's not what I want to be about. I don't want to be taking ideas from something to make my videos better. Like. I do just what I personally feel I want to do because then if I like, if to me, if it feels like I'm forcing something that's not natural to me, uh, yeah, I'll lose enjoyment in it very quickly. So I always got to do what I enjoy. But here, this video is all about what, what you have liked from my career mode videos. And also, yeah, this is the time to say something you don't like. Um, I really want to know because I want to make the best possible videos that will be interesting. That's what I mean. What to... Uh, to have people really coming back and watching the video. So yeah, I do want to hear what you like and even what you don't like so I can stop doing that. But sometimes yeah, you can't help some things. Uh, you do, you can't change. That's just the way you are or something. But uh, yeah, because uh, I was watching back. Oh, this is on the topic now of the post commentary on videos. Like uh, when you record a lot and then you yeah, commentate over it. Uh, obviously a big downside to that because me personally, I play it a lot. When I do it in that style, I play a lot like on one day or something and maybe finish half of the season in one day, I just play it heaps, well not, yeah, pretty much half a season I could in one day and I would have a break for the next couple of days and then I'll go back to a couple of days later but then when you're editing the videos you don't have the same connection with what's happening because it happened like a week ago that you actually played that game, that's personally what it is, how it feels for me and then when I start to do that commentary, sit down to do it like here, uh, yeah, sometimes I just, I won't feel that connection but when I'm playing it live I can get straight into it, maybe just edit out boring parts uh, but yeah, when I have to sit down like this and do a video, uh, when there's not really something, yeah, like I said, when I played it so long ago, I don't have that connection and uh, to be so excited about it. So that's really the difference. But uh, with those, 
if you do it right, there can be a good story behind it. Obviously, they're like a storytelling style, I guess, and live is more so about the reactions of the game. So, yeah, it's more so do you want it in a story style, uh, which can be boring at times. Like I said, at times, sometimes I would struggle to know what to talk about. Uh, but then with live, you're going to have the live game reactions, and then there's the other side of things. Uh, like I said, post-commentary, the bad thing about that, it could be boring, but then with the live reactions, of course, could be exciting as well, but at times, people could think, which people have done, <laughs> uh, think I'm complaining about the game, which is not the case. It's just me showing my live reactions, and I think this is a perfect time to make this video. I'll upload it before my next career mode videos at Newcastle, because, yeah, it might be situations like that, like start of a new season, uh, but yeah, uh, that's what I mean. Maybe when something doesn't go my way right away, I might just have a... Uh, like a moment, like a moment reaction right there that's live and you just get really frustrated and it's more so just getting my frustrations. That's what's being recorded, my frustrations, frustration, sorry, uh, not me being like insulting, not insulting the game, well, insulting EA maybe, <laughs> yeah, something like that. And that would lead people thinking that's me complaining about the game. But yeah, as I said, it's just my live reactions to the game. If you think about it, sit back and think when you're playing FIFA, uh, when something happens that you don't like, like if you lose late or something, uh, just stupid decisions or whatever, how do you feel? You don't feel happy and that kind of stuff. You, you feel mad. So uh, that comes across in the live game. So it really, it goes both ways, really. So I'd love to see your feedback, what you like the most. But what I've done on YouTube is always mostly 100% what I want. But what people leave suggestions on, it makes me think about it more. Like, it makes me consider that. Then I may think about it and say, will that suit me? Do, do I think I'll enjoy that? And, yeah, I'll think about it a bit. So your suggestions here yeah, do help. Uh, so along with that, I would love you to see your suggestions in this video. I just want to see comments, likes, dislikes on the video. It doesn't really matter at all um, what you think of it. Just, yeah, more so what you what you want, what kind of style of videos, and, yeah, how you think I can improve, and what you do like already, so I can maybe emphasize that a bit more. And, of course, yeah, that's pretty much it on that point. You get the point. I really want to know what style you like more, what you like from me more, and that kind of stuff. And I'll just talk about something lastly. Like, for me, um, I feel I've done pretty well um, uh, with YouTube so far, uh, two years, um, exactly two years ago. Like, this time two years ago, I was sort of waiting for FIFA 13 to come out. I was just sitting there, not much to do. I uh, had holidays, that kind of stuff, and was planning for my future and that kind of thing. Wasn't really doing too much. Uh, with my life, so I started to make YouTube videos, and of course, it bring me to this point now, and yeah, hopefully I continue to grow with my YouTube channel and that stuff, but uh, yeah, like, I never thought so many people would like my videos, like, I didn't think I was so good, <laughs> my videos are so good, um, like, sometimes I feel as though people expect my videos to be really good now because I'm getting more subscribers. That's what I feel like. Sometimes people say, like, how do you have this many subscribers? You can't talk or some crap. Uh, but yeah, like, that's all I can, I don't know, like, I don't know how I got a lot, to be honest, like I said, I wouldn't expect, I didn't expect, but obviously, people like it for some reason, um, yeah, if you like my videos, why you subscribe, leave in your comments, uh, but this is my thoughts, actually, this is just my personal opinion, I don't think quality of videos matter that much anymore, it's more so the consistent videos, like, you don't have, a, have to be, like, an amazing commentator, like, I'll be honest, I'm not, I'll be honest, uh, there's many people uh, that are probably better, but, yeah, I don't think that is it, I don't think that is it, it's more so about making consistent videos, because that's what it's all about, how good you are doesn't get you rated on the YouTube, it's all about views, all about likes on the video, and if you make consistent videos, uh, people are going to like it, so that's that's at least my thoughts on it anyway, uh, that's just my th honest thoughts, uh, it's not so, yeah, of course, a little bit, it's a little bit about how good you are, um, I guess, um, I get playing the game as well, I'm both making videos, commentating on the videos, all that kind of stuff, uh, but a lot of it is down to making consistent daily videos, which I have done since I started making YouTube, well, more so when FIFA 13 was out. I had one break um, for a week because uh, of family issues. I had to deal with something for a week. But ever since then, I've made basically a video every single day. If not, um, yeah, definitely the next day. Definitely haven't gone on big breaks or anything like that. Uh, I've tried to update you anytime I can. So yeah, this is kind of video about FIFA 15 and also, uh, yeah, just talking about YouTube in general. So 
uh, yeah, hopefully you understand everything I talked about and what are your thoughts on making videos. But that's just my honest thoughts. Like, um, I'll say as well, like, I don't like many YouTubers, if I'm honest, like FIFA. Like, I just don't find them as interesting. I'm not, I'm not sure why. It's just maybe I don't have the interest in watching them as much. Like I said, when I started YouTube, I never watched gaming videos before. So I had nothing to go off. I just did it on my own, what I thought was the best. So I wasn't yeah, trying to be like anyone or anything. I was just um, yeah going off like that. Just my... Because I've never only... Um, honestly, for YouTube, I only used it for listening to music. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I, I can't remember. Did I use it for anything? I don't think so. Maybe if I just wanted to find something out quickly, just like a tip or something, um, maybe for your computer or something, just find out why something's not working or just something like that in general. But yeah, if I'm honest, I never watched a gaming video ever on YouTube. So that's really interesting. Um, and why I decided, yeah, the reason, if people want to wonder, I guess this is going to why I started YouTube now. But yeah, the reason I started is because Football Manager, of course, I wanted to show my goals that I scored. I tried to use the feature on Football Manager to upload goals, which is, yeah, it's a feature on Football Manager, if you didn't know, if you just watch my FIFA videos. And yeah, it wasn't good enough, the quality. And it was just like short videos. And I, I just found out how to do a screen recording. Then I did that. Uh, and then I just made a tip video uh, for something on Football Manager <laughs> a couple of years ago, I'll say. I uh, made like a tip video for Genie Scout. I actually deleted that video, but there, that was actually one of the first videos I made. I just want to show a tip uh, for a good yeah, good program you can use to find good players in your game, just yeah, for a bit of fun, really. I did that back then, but yeah, I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I just wanted, and since then, yeah, I did Football Manager videos. Like I recorded at first, I just wanted to show my goals. I wanted to f figure out how to do that. And then, of course, I moved on uh, to finding out how you can record the screen, uh, which I have my program here, Camtasia Studio, using the same one. Um, I actually use a different one uh, for FIFA videos because this is why I do the screen recording on. But yeah, uh, that's what I did. Then I, yeah, I guess I found out I could just, talk over the videos and yeah do that and that's how I started really so yeah since then of course my videos got better but there's room to improve definitely as I mentioned before um and yeah that's all I can say really I don't really know what more because sometimes like this I just want to sit down and talk to you and uh, that's why you subscribe to me really <laughs> to listen to what I have to say but a lot of people just want to see content so I'm not sure if you really enjoy this video but yeah the main point was what kind of content you want to see in career mode because uh, in general, I do like career mode a lot uh, in FIFA, the premise of it. But it does need to be improved in a lot of areas. But I just love giving that story behind it. So you say, um, yeah, definitely. That's the thing. That's the thing. That's a big thing. I would really like to do the post commentaries. But I feel as though at times, uh, it just, I don't know what to say at times. But with the live videos, I can just show key parts of matches where I get a bit excited and stuff. And it's... It's a different kind of video, but I do like the story aspect of career mode videos, but it's a bit hard to do what's um, actually the best quality. So yeah, it's very interesting. So if you could leave your thoughts, that would be absolutely fantastic. And just drop a like to support me. Uh, that's fantastic as well. I always get motivated. Um, like I said, I don't think I'm the best at YouTube, but yeah, when I see good reaction on the videos, it does make me feel more happier and I'll be more excited and that kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, that's basically it. Um, if you're subscribed, if you've been subscribed for a while, yeah, um, I really appreciate it because we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go bigger in the future. Can't wait for that. So I'll see you guys next time.